Hello guys, welcome back and welcome kung bago ka sa channel na to. So yung topic natin ngayon is geometric means. So geometric means are terms between two non-consecutive terms of a geometric sequence. So for example, insert three geometric means between 16 and 81. So yung first term natin dito is 16. And then mag-insert tayo ng three geometric means. So, lagay lang tayo ng tatlong blank. And then, yung last term natin is 81. Okay? So, yung mga geometric means is terms between two non-consecutive terms of a geometric sequence. So, so yung sinasolve natin dito is yung a sub 2, a sub 3, and a sub 4. Okay? So, a sub 5 yung last term natin. So, solve muna natin yung common ratio para masolve natin itong mga terms. Kasi yung common ratio, i-multiply lang natin siya sa a sub 1 para makuha natin sa a sub 2. Then i-multiply din natin yung common ratio sa a sub 2 para makuha natin sa a sub 3 and so on. Okay? So gamitin lang natin yung formula ng geometric sequence. So ano yun? a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r to the power of n minus 1. Okay? So now yung a sub n, palitan lang natin ng a sub 5. So a sub 5 is equal to a sub 1 times r to the power times r to the power of n minus 1. So n natin is 5, so 5 minus 1. Okay? So a sub 5 natin is 81. a sub 1 natin is 16. Then r to the power of 5 minus 1, that is 4. So si r yung inaanap natin. Then divide lang tayo ng 16. So cancel, matitira dito is r to the power of 4. And then, 81 over 16. So, yung 81 equals siya sa 3 to the power of 4. Okay? 3 times 3, that is 9. Times 3, 27. Times 3, 81. So, 3 to the power of 4 siya. Palitan lang natin. And then, yung 16 naman, 2 to the power of 4 naman siya. 2 times 2, that is 4. Times 2, that is 8. Times 2, that is 16. So, 2 to the power of 4. So, palitan natin. And then, para masolve natin si R, so erase lang natin siya to the power of 1 fourth para ma-cancel yung 4. So dito rin sa kabila, to the power of 1 fourth din tayo. Okay? Cancel na yung 4. So R is equal to, now dahil even yung exponent ng R natin, so dalawa yung sagot natin dito, positive and negative. Okay? Tandaan nyo, pag even yung exponent, pag divisible by 2. So cancel natin yung 4 dito, so, matitira is 3 halves. So, dalawa yung possible answer natin. Okay? So, first, gamitin mo na natin yung ratio na positive 3 halves. So, therefore, a sub 2 is equal to a sub 1 times the common ratio. So, a sub 1 natin is 16 times the common ratio, positive 3 halves. So, 16 divided by 2, that is 8, times 3, 24. Okay, so, ito yung a sub 2 natin. Then, para sa a sub 3 naman, a sub 2 lang times the common ratio. So, ganun lang na yung pagkuha sa terms. So, yung preceding term niya times the common ratio. Okay? So, yung preceding term ng a sub 2, a sub 1. Preceding term ng a sub 3, a sub 2. Minus 1 lang. Okay? So, a sub 2 natin is 24 times the common ratio, 3 halves. So, 24 divided by 2, that is 12. Times 3, that is 36. Okay, so, a sub 3 natin is 36. So, lagyan natin ng box. And then, a sub 4 natin. That is, a sub 3, okay, minus 1 lang, 4 minus 1, 3, times the common ratio. So, a sub 3 natin, that is 36, times the common ratio, uh, 3 halves. So, 36 divided 2, that is 18. 18 times 3, that is 54. So, a sub 4 natin is 54. So, ito na yung mga mean natin. Gamit yung positive pa lang to na ratio, no? So, that is 24, 36, and 54. Now, kung, negative, kung gagamitin naman natin yung negative na ratio, so yung magiging sagot niyan is 
So, negative 3 halves times 16, that is negative 24. So, magiging negative siya. And then, negative 24 times negative 3 halves, positive 36. And then, for a sub 4, 36 times negative 3 halves, that is negative 54. Okay, so dalawa yung sagot natin. Ito, tsaka ito. Okay? Okay, tandaan nyo, pag, pag even yung exponent ng ratio, dalawa yung possible answers. And for example, number 2 natin, insert 2, geometric means between negative 32 and positive 4. So dito, so dito yung first term natin is negative 32, and then mag-insert tayo ng dalawang geometric means. And yung last term natin is 4. Okay? So again, uh, kailangan natin munang masolve yung common ratio para makuha natin yung mga missing terms. So, missing terms natin a sub 2 is a sub 2 and a sub 3. Okay? So, a sub 4 yung last term. So, again, gagamitin natin yung formula ng geometric sequence. So, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r to the power of n minus 1. So, solve muna natin si common ratio. So, yung a sub n, palitan lang natin ng a sub 4 kasi yun yung given dito. So, a sub 4 is equal to a sub 1 times r to the power of n minus 1. So, n natin is 4. So, 4 minus 1 siya. Okay? And then, a sub 4 natin is 4. a sub 1 natin is negative 32. And times r to the power of 4 minus 1, that is 3. Okay? So, yung r yung sinosolve natin. Then, divide lang tayo ng negative 32. So, cancel na. Matitira is r to the power of 3. Then dito, 4 divided by negative 32. That is negative 1 over 8. Okay? And then, and then yung 8 is equal siya sa 2 to the power of 3. 2 times 2, that is 4. Times 2, that is 8. So, 2 to the power of 3 siya. So, palitan natin. And then, para masolve natin si r, Raise lang natin siya to the power of 1 third or cube root. 1 third. Okay? So, cancel na ngayon yung 3. So, R na lang yung matitira. Dito, negative 1 to the power of 1 third. So, negative 1 lang. So, walang effect yung exponent sa 1, no? Then, 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 1 third. So, cancel na yung 3. So, matitira is 2. So, negative 1 na yung ating common ratio. So, dito, then yung exponent natin, Add siya. So, hindi siya divisible by 2. So, isa lang yung common ratio natin. Hindi katulad nung kanina sa example number 1, even siya. So, dalawa yung common ratio natin. Positive, negative. So, dito isa lang. Okay? So, now, solve na natin yung mga terms. So, a sub 2 is equal to a sub 1, ang preceding term niya, times the common ratio. So, a sub 1 natin, that is negative 32, times the common ratio, that is negative 1 half. And then, negative 32 times negative 1 half. That is, positive 16. Okay? So, a sub 2 natin is positive 16. And then, for a sub 3, that is equal to a sub 2 times r. Okay? Again, minus 1 lang, no? 3 minus 1, that is 2. So, a sub 2 natin is 16. Common ratio is negative 1 half. So, 16 times negative 1 half, that is negative 8. Okay, so a sub 3 natin is negative 8. So, therefore, yung mga means natin, yung mga geometric means natin is 16 and negative 8. Okay, so ito na yung sagot natin. So, kung meron problems na related dito sa topic natin, comment below lang. Comment below rin kung nakatuloy yung video ito. Thank you for watching and... Uh, huwag nyo kalimutang i-like yung video ito.